All right, today I'll be talking about Bordetella and dogs, and I also have a, like, a personal experience to go along with it. So why am I talking about Bordetella? So I am medical personnel at a um, shelter, uh, so we experience kennel cough for Bordetella regularly, uh, and I, like I said before, I have personal experience with the dog I fostered from the shelter. So what is Bordetella and what is kennel cough? So, Bordetella is a uh, bacterial agent and causes inflammation of the dog's upper respiratory system. Uh, the inflammation leads to coughing and uh, can expose your dog to secondary um, illnesses as well and infections. Uh, kennel cough is an all-encompassing term used to, of a magnitude of highly contagious upper respiratory uh, illnesses. Um, kennel cough is extremely contagious. Uh, it is spread from nose to nose. Uh, interactions. It can be spread from dog bowls, water bowls, toys, uh, and on the sides of kennels and all that stuff. So, uh, so what are symptoms of Bordetella? Um, it sounds as if your dog is like um, gagging on something, like choking on something, like something is stuck on their, like in their throat. Uh, they say a persistent honking noise. Uh, there's a fever, lethargy, and not usually, but sometimes, there is a whitish or green nasal discharge as well. Uh, so what are some treatment options for Bordetella and kennel cough? Um, the disease actually can resolve on its own, uh, but it, of course it's a very um, painful and not very pleasant thing to go through. Um, so some antibiotics are given to decrease secondary infections. Uh, but usually if the coughing is severe and cough suppressants and inhalant medications can be given uh, just to help your dog breathe a little easier. Um, also, it is recommended to walk your dog on a harness and not a collar because the collar can pull on the neck and it induces the coughing. Uh, so, does my dog need to be vaccinated for Bordetella? Uh, it is not a core vaccination. Uh, but it is highly recommended, if not required, at many uh, kennels, um, doggy daycares, all that type of stuff. Um, so most of the time it is required for those places. So this is Milo. Uh, his new name is Pete because he was adopted. Uh, uh, Milo is a four-year-old uh, neutered male golden retriever. Um, he presented several of the common symptoms that I listed earlier. Um, Milo was treated with 300 milligrams of doxycycline um, for seven days. Uh, I did not give him any cough suppressants or anything like that because it wasn't as severe. Uh, but it cleared up after the seven days. Well, before the seven days, but so those are my resources. Give a round of applause. Yeah, you always, if it's prescribed for seven days, you give it for seven days, even if it's better on day three, right? Questions, comments? Yeah, you made a good point. It's not a core vaccine, but if you have any exposure to other dogs, you should have it, basically. I think the Newfies at the end, I think I never had. I'm not even sure if they ever had Bordetella. Because I you can't, I don't, I don't trust enough any people to board them. I don't trust people to groom them. Now they're gone. Now the, uh, <coughs> sorry, the Bordetella, uh, Border collars, collies are vaccinated for border dog. Because I take them different places where there are other dogs. Okay, thank you. Excellent. These are great.